Por eso, casi no te roba la policía, te roba los chorros. <laughs> los chorros, oh. la policía es más chorra que los chorros. I've wanted to do this for the longest time. I'm gonna look like such a douchebag. How many? Give me my money. Give me my money, need it. Give me my money. Give me my money, need it. Give me my money. Give me my money, need it. If you have pesos, what do you do? We spend it. <laughs> so don't keep with pesos. This. <laughs> No, 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 come on. Guys, now the drone won't listen to my command. It won't listen to my command. It doesn't move. See, it doesn't move. You go away, oh, you in danger, Lava. Oh, man. I almost lost you. That was quite a crazy drone experience. And I know if you see up in the air, you don't think this is such a beautiful city, but I think the aerial shots don't do this city justice. And you saw that money throwing opening that I did. I want to dedicate some parts of the video to talk about that because it actually took me a couple of days to figure out that money in Argentina is basically worthless. So if you come here as a tourist and you don't know how to get those money, there's a very high chance that you'll be scammed and you're paying twice of what you should pay. But I want to show you guys my Airbnb first. This is our work desk and we work here and edit our videos. You know, she doesn't want to be filming in the morning. So I'm using her young photo to block her. Balconies are very important in Argentina. Almost like every flat has a balcony. When it comes to choosing a good Airbnb, all I care about is safety and network. Router is not mine. I don't know what the owner or previous guest have done to this router or maybe other people have the passwords to this router. Meaning hackers can see your passwords, emails and you know bank details even. This part is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Protected, your connection is safe. So every time I connect to a different Wi-Fi, you know at a free cafe or at the airport or at a new Airbnb, I make sure my Surfshark VPN has been connected because they provide my network with strong encryption. It's particularly important for me if I want to type in passwords to log into my Instagram or I'm trying to do any bank transaction. Surfshark VPN wants to offer my few was a huge discount so if you use the link in my description box you get 83% off and use the promo code TORRISPIT to get extra three months free and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you don't like it you can cancel it but just go protect your network so Georgia what should we do now Korean food, Korean food? You can't me. can I film you now or I need to bring out your young picture again I mean, I'm, I'm topless. so we're gonna get Korean food and this is where we hide our money you must use cash as a tourist and I'm going to explain to you why. And see, always pay with cash, even on an Uber. We are in the Korean town of Buenos Aires. You can see in here a lot of Korean tags. I mean, we've only been here for 10 days, but we love this restaurant because apparently this is rated as the best Korean restaurant in the whole of South America. And Argentina is also an immigration country. You can barely see authentic Argentinian people here. Argentinian people are all the descendants of Italian and Spanish people. Look at this guy just having lunch by himself and he has ordered himself a bottle of wine. This, this is just what happens in Argentina. Thank you for coming back. Uh -huh. Grandma started this restaurant. My grandma is the chef. She was like 35 maybe. And she didn't know anything about Spanish. She only speaks Korean. Yeah. And she still only speaks Korean. <laughs> It's actually quite cold in Argentina right now and a kimchi soup. I'm gonna hit the spot. Oh. All, all the grandmas here are more Korean than the Koreans in Korea. Oh, really? Because the culture that came four years ago, yeah. it froze there. Ah. While there, the culture is okay. Mashida. Mahida. This is the grandma's recipe and this is the grandma. Do you like Argentinian food? 
<laughs> After the, the Second World War, Korea was very poor. Yeah. So people went to another country looking for to be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. See, I can't eat too much white people food. Sometimes I just need to eat rice. I, don't get me wrong, the meat here is amazing and the chips here are amazing. They have the best barbecue in the world. And Argentina is very famous for their meat. I need some Asian food in me. Wow. So soft. It's not rubbery at all. Hey, fun. How come don't you? I stand by. You've been robbed four times. Four times, yeah. <laughs> With a gun on your face. With a gun on my face, yes. And what did you do? I just gave everything. If you give everything, it doesn't happen anything to you. Just like most places in South America, insanely dangerous if you get yourself to the wrong place. So just two blocks down here, it is somewhere that Esteban has never been because there's a squatter camp. If you go there, the find the high chili. Cafe. Cafe. You can speak English too. Oh yeah, perfect. They're on these areas. Ah, the Argentina. Ah, Argentina. Oh. Okay, to Perez habla muy bien inglés. Because I studied at school. Why are we going home so soon? We got work to do, my friend. When you're in Argentina, you really have to pay attention. My number one tip for you is just like many countries in South America, you really have to choose where you live. The economy of Argentina is not very good. I think from 2017 to 2022, their currency has dropped more than 90% compared to US dollars. There are a lot of desperate people and they will rob you. And it doesn't help if I'm holding a camera this big, but I know behind me, there's a police policeman. Y la, poli, la policía, la policía de acá quería... Te, te coimea, te, te roba también la policía. Por eso, casi no te roba la policía, te roba los chorros. <laughs> so the thing is, most of the people here in Argentina, they are very friendly and passionate and they like to talk to you and make friends with you. So most people are good people, but you just need to pick your location carefully. Hello. And a second thing I noticed about Argentina is that unlike their neighbor country, Brazil, this country is not as racially diverse. This country doesn't have as many descendants of black people. And you can see from the Brazilian football team, the racial profile is more mixed. Whereas in Argentina, you can see from the football team, it's mostly white people. The most important thing about traveling to Argentina is that in this country there are two exchange rates. One is the official exchange rate. With one US dollar, it will get you a hundred pesos. The government or the banks of Argentina have significantly overestimated their purchasing power. So if you go to those dodgy market, you get twice of what the bank or the government will give you. Why? So the question becomes, so how do you get the black market rates? So we were told to go to this very busy street of Buenos Aires and immediately we got there, someone noticed that we look like tourists and they just do this. Book in Spanish and he was like, cameo, 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 which means do you want to do the exchange? And then he said, come follow me. And then we follow him for 10 minutes and we went from such a busy street into a quiet, quiet little indoor corner and we were doing the exchange. Honestly, it felt like drug transaction. You can't do it in the street. You have to go to somewhere quiet and do it. 
You see, there's another policeman at the corner, so you know this area is safe. And when you come to South America, stay in somewhere safe. Just think about it, Argentinian people make around 400 to 500 US dollars per month. All of a sudden, a tourist brings out a 2,000, 3,000 US dollar camera or a thousand US dollars iPhone. Some people will take the chance to rob you. So just be careful. Cuando más que nada cuando saben que son turistas, ¿entendés? Oh. Maradona? 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 You like Maradona? Sí. Maradona o Pele? Maradona. Maradona y Messi. Sí. Pele después, tercero. Ma Gracias. Chao. Chao. And don't forget, football is a religion here in Argentina. Maradona graffiti everywhere and don't you dare disrespect their idol. Maradona even has a church here in Argentina. So Everything is about passion. They're so passionate about football. There's no chance we can beat them. And just like the Europeans, they like to sit outside and drink. So in a couple of hours time, this will be packed with drinkers. Ah, see? Sí? Yeah, sí. Like Con the moto? Oh, gracias. Mucho gracias. Okay, I, I can't even vlog myself having a beer because I was just reminded that they would snatch my camera. But guys, come on, this is like the most expensive area of Buenos Aires, but still you gotta be careful. This beer is 400 pesos. And with my illegal market money, this is two US dollars. But if I pay with card or with the official exchange rate, this would be four US dollars. Still very cheap, but why pay four US dollars when you can pay two US dollars? Cheers.